been thinking about all the time I've been spending to myself these past several years practicing, really putting the time into my instruments, just completely going into it, focusing on various things and adopting certain mindsets towards playing. Today I'm going to show you where you're going to live in terms of the harp, the distance on the harp where you really need to focus, to focus on one of the main concepts to playing blues. There's several different concepts to playing blues to focus on, different pillars to the whole format of this kind of style and genre of music. And this right here is one of them, one of the top ones. Now I've got two harps here. So when you think about that idea of keeping to yourself, practicing to yourself, this is something you want to work on because even if you're advanced and you're very familiar with this scale, you're not going to know exactly the way I'm going to present it to you, the way to look at it. So we're going to start out by the listener, which is you listening for every note being clear, every note being in tune, such as when you're bending a note, even on the guitar strings, you're bending a note. You're aiming to bend a note in tune. So we're going to check out playing in tune when we get to certain notes here, certain holes that involve a bend, and there's mainly two of them. And they sound a little strange on their own, but when you play it in the context of the scale, it all makes sense. So what's the first note? Started on the B-flat harp. Hole two, which we've spoken about. And by the way, since I said this is one of the most important lessons so far, I want you to try to just clear your mind of everything we've spoken about so far. Just clear your head of everything, because it's been a lot of rhythms and chord action and so forth. Try to clear your mind of all that and just start anew with this lesson in, in a sense. So hold two. Hold three with a bend on it. So just start with just those two. So that's a distinct difference between just playing it unbent Even when coming back to it, you could include the four, which is something I've spoken about. Oh, well, there's another note coming up, which is a four hole below. Those are a few notes for you to work with right there. Start mixing them up a little bit. See, I threw it in there, it was okay. Maybe you wouldn't do that at the very beginning. Now there's a bend here. And like I said, this is the one beginners are gonna have trouble with because you're trying to actually get a clear sound on hole four and bend in tune. And then following that is a four blow, but even an advanced player if they're not warmed up and so forth, may just pick up the harp and they might have trouble with that even. Let's pick up the A harp just to show you. So here's where we were with the A, with the B flat. Just focus on the first two holes for a second. So that'd be okay, little adjustments. Now what would be bending it too much? That's not right. You want and no bend would be this. Let's pick up this B flat one more time. So first note, two hole draw to review. Second note, three hole draw with a bend. Four hole blow. Bending hole four, then releasing it, just doing plain old draw on hole four. Five draw, it's another blue note for you. Then six blow, which sounds awfully similar to this, doesn't it? Okay. 
So just start with those first few notes, build on that first. Okay, then begin to add in whole four. can begin to add in the tongue to add in an articulating effect. We're doing lip, uh, lip person. And eventually get into playing the whole scale. Sometimes certain things like the bend is easier to play the other way. Every note was clear as a bell, in tune, and this is how you play the blues scale in your harmonica. Glad you guys like these videos. We have the same amount of subscribers on the Shorts channel as this channel. About 1,800, and we're just going to keep going. So thank you kindly. I was going to make this into a part two, but I'm going to try to squeeze it all into one video if my phone storage permits it, because this topic of the blues scale is important in the sense that if you can't play this scale, if you can't master it, you're left out of all these great melodies that make up recognizable blues songs. I could name so many and even play them for you. One example would be My Babe. So many, you just, you're missing out on so much if you don't come to terms with this. And when it comes to practicing, time spent alone is actually a blessing. Completely isolated, in peace and quiet, working out what you want to play, but just sitting there noodling around on the instrument is not practicing, something I speak about often. You need to have the right instruction, the right materials, know what you're aiming for, know how you're challenging yourself and start working things out, that's practice. So just sitting there messing around with things you've played a thousand times is not practice. So we're gonna talk about specifically how you can practice this skill. Continuing on with the previous clip that I just recorded, I'm gonna to aim to put them both together. And what I neglected to mention in the last one is either tapping your foot or having one of these in the background, the metronome, So just having, uh, limiting yourself to just a few notes within the scale to start begins to push your creativity because now you're pushing for different rhythmic ideas, different repetition amounts of notes, different percussive attacks to notes. And this is what happens when you limit the amount of notes you're going for. Let's incorporate whole four. This is why I recorded myself when I first started playing the harp. When I recorded those first songs in the first couple months, first couple weeks. Because I'm a new player now, for better or worse, with everything else going on with me. I'm a new player. I'm a transformed player. You can look at these recordings now and look at my beginning and it's night and day. What's this right here? What that is, is when I play the four, after I get a clear note, I'm releasing my lips subtly. Allowing the whole thing to flow seamlessly. Okay, now what did I do at the beginning? Well, at the beginning what I did was the two-hole draw was not the main focus, it was actually 
the three-hole draw bend. That happened kind of fast. And when it's when it's a situation where you begin to practice like that, and you have your goals and you have your information, you have your strategy of practicing. That's when you begin to make transformations like I have, where you can start to develop things such as this essential blues technique. Start to get a vibrato for yourself instead of a choked off sound, an uneven sound. This is something you can begin to work on.